Whoa! <laughs> hey, man! Watch out, man! Here I come, man! I like to say, man, man! It's me, Shakes! You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Blargar, blargar. Blah, 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 blah. Yes! Brilliant! Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Chipperson! My Technovision glasses! The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can loan any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about this gun, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> you give me those glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Uh, <laughs> dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of Technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm looking great. Hey, hey. Gonna score lots of goals today. You a skunk! I'm getting out of here. The skunk. My glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up a defensive response. Tony? We'll expect a tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets super strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm. If I can't use the movie glasses, Maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technicali have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. Huh. And we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We got to be prepared for Technicali. Yeah. Who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to? Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. I got it! <laughs> no, you 
Jeder und oh! Hmm. What should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my goods. Ah, go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. <laughs> Ew! What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. A matador. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy. Right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? <laughs> According to Pointless Gossip Magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. <gasps> How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails went out of fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, uh, you believe me, right? Uh, I... I uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. That went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to Norshaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> Drama! El Matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm-mm. Drama. Check. What else? Action! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ninjas! What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. 
Sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes, help! El Matador? Oh, God. This isn't over, El Matador. Your money there will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. The game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I going to do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable gold getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So, Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah? What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about. Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Marado wasn't lying about the skull, then. John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, i uh, never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! So Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. 
All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. Hmm? What? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rule, Shanks. Uh, I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Byrne swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Byrne sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Touches the glasses. Tail magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. Huh? Eat this, Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we going to teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your 
high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here. Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. <gasps> what is that smell? I <sighs> don't want to talk about it. We're into the final few minutes at the Cauldron. Super Strikers are throwing everyone forward. They're desperate to find the Equalizer. But Grimm's ghoulish defense is holding firm. If anyone can break through, it's El Matador. Super Strikers number 20 has done everything right today. Everything except score a goal, that is. Precision through ball from Dancing Rasta. Shakes draws the defense. It's an open goal! Woohoo! <laughs> Feel the beauty! What? Oh, dude. Oh, so embarrassing. Huh? El Matador was so busy celebrating, he didn't bother to check if the pool went in. Oh, this is not gonna be good for his confidence. It's over for me. Goodbye forever, soccer. Suck it up, bro. We all have a bad game now and then. Ah, you guys don't get it. I'm not special anymore. I'm just a regular player. Like the rest mm -hmm. of you. Uh -huh. uh, read some fan mail, dude. That'll cheer you up. Okay, man. I'll get onto that pronto. We'll see you at training, right? Yeah, yeah. See you there. De Los Santos, how confident are you feeling ahead of Azul's trip to Strikerland? Stopping Super Striker's attack is always a challenge, Lena. Ah! But I am feeling up to the job. <laughs> <laughs> ah, show off. Well, he does have the stats to back the confidence. That's why we'll be playing with three Strikers. Shakes, Klaus, and... Uh... Where is El Mando? Yeah, where this is, is I haven't seen him. He had better have a good reason. Hello, you've reached El Matador. I will be unavailable forever. Uh, still this? Don't leave a message, and I won't get back to you. Goodbye. Still down about that miss, eh? Yep, moping at home. Huh. Well, there goes our three striker strategy, brothers. Hmm. Jakes, Klaus, come with me. I have a plan. El Matador's confidence has taken a major hit. I'm counting on you to get his mind right before the Azul game. I don't know, Coach. It's gonna take something big to get through to him. Whoa! Oh, oh. Welcome to our football technology vault. I always wondered where you kept this stuff, Coach. So, we put on the robo suit, grab El Matador, and bring him back, right? <laughs> Not quite. Activate Narcissus Protocol. I had a state-of-the-art device created especially for this kind of situation. Ooh, what does it do? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Just find El Matador, press the button, and the device will do the rest. And I thought my place was untidy. <gasps> hmm? Dear El Matador the Great, forget what everyone else says, that miss wasn't your fault. It was obviously a bad pass from Shakes. Hmm. Come join your real fans. We believe in you no matter what. He wouldn't have. He, he, he couldn't have. His hair dryer isn't here. He never goes anywhere without it. Oh, he did. I don't know, coach. He's somewhere in the middle of nowhere. 
The Dory will get him back. Ooh, I can't wait to see what this baby does. Forget about the device, Klaus. We need to focus on getting El Matador back in time for the game. Hmm. It could be a fold-up helicopter. <gasps> or a hypnosis device. <gasps> Maybe it's a teleporter. A flux capacitor? A spaceship for ants? The world's smallest spotlight? A robotic homing pigeon? A Rubik's sphere? A gravity disruptor? VR projector? A trans-dimensional day spa? A silver snitch? A bright destroy? A pokeball? Portable universe? Alien egg? Self-aware magic eight ball? <gasps> I have to know! Must find out what it does. Oh! <laughs> ah! <gasps> Too close. Shakes his height. I have to focus on getting El Matador back in time. Back in time. <gasps> Klaus, we're here. Hmm? Gah! Where did he go? <laughs> well, this is definitely the place. There's something fishy going on in there, Junior. Um, I'm looking for a friend. Uh, glasses, ponytail... There are many on board, but only one. Right. <laughs> Thanks. Watch out, Junior. Everyone in there is crazy. Last stop. Everybody off. Ugh. Get El Matador back in time. <gasps> the question isn't where am I, but when am I? Of course, a time machine. to find El Matador, but this is ridiculous. What? Okay, Shakes, activate the device and get El Matador out of here. Easy as... Klaus? Mm. Do not be alarmed by my strange clothes and futuristic haircut. I am a time traveler. Oh, great. Another crazy. I don't see anyone else here. First the ponytail guy, then the cheeky one with the spiky hair. The ponytail guy? Yes. The perfect place to get away from yourself, the past. Very clever, El Matador. Uh, where or when did the ponytail guy go? Our king is here! Feel the duty! Feel the duty! <laughs> Almost. It's feel the beauty! Duty! Beauty! Duty? Eh, close enough. See? We are your best fans! Huh? The shame! Ooh. Look! Ooh. He mocks the great one with this incorrect jersey number! What? This the only one in the shop. Mm. Come on, people. <gasps> Feel the duty? 
is not worthy of the mighty El Matador. No. 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 Fine. I didn't even want to be part of your stupid club anyway. Sheesh. Those people won't let me anywhere near El Matador. <sighs> Our king is bored and demands entertainment. Who will step up for the skills battle? Winner will be given one-on-one -on -one face time with El Matador himself. Yeah. Gotcha. My shirt, my glasses, my pants, my dignity. <laughs> Do any others challenge for an audience with the king? I do. <gasps> there is only one explanation for this. All the Almatadors from every point in time have gathered here. But I need the real El Matador. Good luck, challengers! This guy knows his stuff. Uh, He's not one of us. Shakes, what are you doing here? You have to come back to strike a land, El Matador. We need three strikers to get past De Los Santos. Uh, I'm sorry, Shakes. My place is here now. My people need me. But Super Strikers are your people. Unworthy! Off the team! El Matador, come on! Please! El Matador! I'm sorry, my friend, but this is best. For me and for Super Strikers. This one is big trouble. I don't want him coming back. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Let me... <sighs> Thank goodness. Where did you go? I think you mean when did I go? Huh? What are you talking about? Well, it's obvious that El Matador is hiding in the past. That's why Coach gave us the time machine. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Oh, really? Well, what's your big theory then, Shakes? El Matador started a weird fan club consisting entirely of El Matador lookalikes and plans to rule them like a king. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Look, man, who they are or when they are isn't important. What matters is that we get El Matador back. Well, what are we waiting for? Or Raza? Don't say it, dude. When are we waiting for? Yeah. All right, people, one more time. From the top, feel the beauty. Feel the beauty. Uh, I give up. Hey. El Matador! Oh, feel the duty? We are here to take our El Matador back to the present and the future. Or is that back to the future which was the present? Huh? Get them! Let's find out what this thing really does. If you're watching this, you're in trouble. We all feel lost from time to time. Perhaps you have lost the keys to your Lamborghini. You might have lost your thoughts. It's in not a time machine? <laughs> Brilliant. The only person El Matador listens to is himself, so Coach made an El Matador hologram to convince him to come back. Well, it seems to be working on all of them. Or you're lost contemplating your own beauty. Perhaps you are lost in time, lost in space. 
and me. But remember, you are the greatest player of the age. Super Strikers need you because, like a Lamborghini, without the key, they just aren't as good. Come on. Come on. I don't wanna, 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 I don't wanna. Oh, crazy! You need to fulfill your destiny at Strike Alive. Help me, El Matador. I am my only hope. You heard the glorious ponytailed leader? Super Strikers need us! Yeah. Yeah. Strike I have got me back to Striker Land, but I'm not playing. Hmm. You did use the hologram, right? It should have worked. We used it all right, just not how you intended. What are you talking about? Uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you? The Azul fans are looking confident today, folks. Well, I would too if I had the mighty De Los Santos in all. Odd, though, that coaches opted to keep El Matador on the bench. Yeah. Tough to see Super Strike is getting past Azul's keeper without it. Early chance for Super Strike us. What a shot! But not enough to beat De Los Santos. Fun warm up. <laughs> when are we gonna start playing for real? Shakes and Klaus are giving it their all. But it's not enough! De Los Santos is just too good! I have an idea. It's an oldie, but a goodie. We're almost at the end of the first half. Can Shakes and Klaus finally get past De Los Santos? Straight to close! Oh. Huh? Come on, Shakes. You beat me with that trick before. It's going to take much more than that to beat me again. Oh. Hate to say it, Coach, but... This isn't working. Yeah, we need three strikers out there. We need El Mar Don't even say his name. I don't want to see any more of that guy. <laughs> uh -huh. El Matador's reporting for duty, coach. Uh, yeah, we may have accidentally played the hologram message to a bunch of crazy El Matador fans. <laughs> duty! That's it. I'm calling security. Coach. Hang on a minute. I think there's a way we can use this. My people! I knew you'd come to get me. And that's not the only good news. Really? Yeah, we found your replacement. I always knew I had it in me to be the best El Matador ever. That's what you wanted, right? No, 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 Coach. These are just fans who adore Wonderful. me. Wonderful. With you on board, <laughs> De Los Santos has no chance. Hey, why don't we give Mel Matador's locker? Oh, perfect. We even have the same number. Yeah, sounds yeah, good, good to me. Me. Unless you mind, El Matador. No, not at all. Oh, in that case, we can give him your hair dryer too, right? He is the one on the pitch, man. His hair needs to look better than yours. That's it! There are plenty of people who look like me, but there is only one El Matador. Prove it. Huh? I'll put you on, but if you don't produce the goods, I'm going to replace you with the El Matador who really wants to be here today. Me, 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 me. Come on, my people. Let's go and beat the Azul. Let's do this. All right. <laughs> yeah. Halftime substitution for the Super Strikers. Coach brings on El Matador. Yeah. 
We're well into the second half. Scorers are tight, and Super Strikers are on the attack again. But this time, they've unleashed their full firepower. Brilliant build-up play. But it doesn't count for a thing if they can't get it past De La Santos. Klaus shoots. De La Santos saves. Sheik's latches onto the rebound. De La Santos saves again. But, but here, here comes, comes El Matador. Matador. Beauty! <laughs> El Matador really is one of a kind. Uh, someone needs to tell them that. <laughs> it's so beautiful! <laughs> it's good to be me! Yes, yes. Come on, come on, huh? Oh, forget it! I'll get my fish from the supermarket. Oh, man. Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> hmm. I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him. But Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Ah, yeah, North. Of course. The Lost Stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a land. Match day at Strike a Land. And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Commentary Starman. The Master of Flair. The Samba King. Don Aldo. Welcome to the end of the road. Hello. Ha! You think you can stop my samba style? That's cute. When you're as skilled as me, you do as you please. Ha <laughs> The Brazilian maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. Shaw, you'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? Please, doggle, doggle, doggle. He says he's fine, as long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break. 
a chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we going to do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence-building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> Have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promised to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation Badge, my Campfire Badge, my Air Guitar Badge, my <laughs> Mime Badge, my Listing Things Badge, my Crochet Badge, my Life of the Party Badge, my Pancake Eating Badge, my Growing Up Badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues Badge. Whoa, this is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out! This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet! Hold up, North! Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, uh, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... There's some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax! It's a big corner! Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's a wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it! It's a waterfall! hang out in some lame hotel when we could go on an epic adventure. <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's a made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. This 
will do. I'll be in contact to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. See? We're totally on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to baby came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill. It's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Well, come on, Mr. Ventura. Lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! Oh, hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah. all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, ah, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my Junior Wilderness Cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> because I'm a fake. I got all my Junior Wilderness Cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. I put a tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. 
So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. point of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! yes. <laughs> then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes, One, right two, on. three, <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but the question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. No! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. second half is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the way North Shaw and Block played last game, Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm gonna make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've got to make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it going to help us if we can't get back in time for the game? 
Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. 